husband's domain here. I'm in the garage with my little buddy who, um, he's brushing his teeth. First toothbrush, he's very excited about it. I think he's enjoying just uh, chewing on it. Uh, one of the kids is napping, the other one decided to not nap. So he gets to help mommy here in the garage as I tinker around with Gary's toys. Um, I have a few projects that I've asked Gary to do and so I feel like I need to learn and help out as well. Is we are putting curtains in our living room. We've never had curtains in the living room. We've been here a few years. So we're going to do our own curtains. We went and bought the dowels and I'm going to stain them right now since I've got a little free time. I've got free hands and my little helper on the back so he'll be watching me and it's an indoor stain so it's water based so it shouldn't be really stinky I don't think. Never used one before, so I'm just gonna kind of give it a go. Okay, right, so here's a little bit of the progress. These are the two dowels that I'm staining because we are gonna do, we're gonna cover two windows in our living room. So you can see the lighter one is how we bought it originally, and the second one, the darker one, is the one I'm staining. Uh, so my wife showed you the dowels that we're gonna be using kind of to run the curtains on. I'm gonna probably put another coat or two of stain on those, but how we're planning on affixing those to the wall uh, is something like this. Now this is just a test piece, so you can imagine this going on the wall, this being kind of screwed into that right there, and then the dowel will run through that hole right there. If we had the wall, say, right here, then this piece would go into the wall, and back up for perspective, and this We'll go straight in there, and that is exactly what would be holding the dowel. What I've done so far is cut down, actually I ripped a 2x6 down into these blocks here. Started with uh, some 60 grit sandpaper, then that went down to 120. Probably before we stained, might hit it with some 220. Had some of this scrap uh, 3 quarter inch birch uh, that I actually used for this uh, workbench here and uh, rip that down to length and that is going to be the back piece so again this is just a scrap but i'm going to use that birch right here screw it in from the other side and then of course screw all this to the wall run the dowels through so what i'm doing now is i'm going to set up a template this is one of my blocks and five inch length here so i went ahead and found a center point with this width and I brought the uh, the center point back two inches here, and I'm going to use a one and a quarter inch uh, Forstner bit, which is this kind of bit here, just to uh, better shot of that maybe uh, get the uh, the kind of the holes drilled, and, uh, and that's what I've used uh, for this test piece. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drill these, and then uh, cut this piece. Down the link. So after all the pieces are cut, I'm left with something that's like this. So I have my backing, I have my kind of center piece where the dowel will go through, and uh, what I've done is I just kind of tacked it down with a, a, a little nail uh, from the nail gun here, but that's not sufficient. So the process I'm going through uh, to go ahead and uh, get these screwed down is go ahead and mark a center line. So there's kind of a progression here I'll show you. Uh, mark a center line so I know exactly where this center of this board is here and then I just mark kind of the edges so I know exactly here is the center of the 2x4 that's underneath so I know exactly where to drill and place my screws so I, I make these lines on all of these pieces and then the next thing I do is I go ahead and pre-drill where I want those screws to go and uh, just using a little little drill bit here and uh, so that's really kind of step two or three uh, then the next step is I countersink those with a countersink bit here to make sure see this piece right here this is going you know kind of flat up against the wall so I don't want any of the screw heads protruding out so I'll go ahead and drill those down you can see how that kind of looks um, you know kind of below the surface and then of course the final piece is to go ahead and and screw screw this in and so you can kind of see you know nothing of the screw head out there so after this go ahead and screw all of these pieces together go ahead and do a final sand uh, wipe it down and then we'll stain them and then uh, put put them up
This is the final step before we go ahead and put these on the wall. But so in the previous segment, these were not stained. So I'm gonna hit, my wife went ahead and put a couple of coats of stain on there. And uh, let me hold this up for you right here on the miter saw. What we did again here is we uh, pre-drilled here and here and went ahead and countersunk those because this will, like the example before, this will go you know, into the wall and the dowel will, will run through there. The next piece is, is just going up and uh, kind of finding some studs or using some drywall screws to go ahead and, uh, and put these on the wall. And, and hang so this is the uh, curtain rod uh, and the pieces that we did on the wall now. So uh, I'm not sure how good the light is, but you can kind of see the three did one in the middle there and then one here on the left. And if I can kind of back up, you'll see we don't have the hangers, the curtains hung yet, kind of drying those and ironing them out, but you can kind of see that's, uh, that's what it looks like, kind of going through those pieces here. Um, so all in all, we, uh, we're happy with how it turned out and uh, we'll do a final shot here in a little bit uh, with the curtains up. We still want to hang some over on this wall, but uh, essentially uh, this is a pretty done project. We went ahead and did a, uh, a curtain in the middle on either side, so really it's uh, two curtains per uh, window. And I, we, like, uh, we like that configuration the best. Uh, I'm not sure if the lighting's good enough in here to see, but uh, if I back up, you can kind of see at least a little bit uh, what it looks like and really gives a nice appearance and cozy in here whenever they're closed. I uh, went ahead and put up uh, this window as well. Need to order a couple of curtains uh, for that one, but uh, that one's primed and, uh, and ready to go. We think it turned out uh, well and uh, it was a lot of fun.